Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Before we get into your reading, Scorpio, I want to give you guys a quick update. Uh, it came to our attention that uh, there is a lot of fakes out there on social media, Instagram, Facebook, uh, even here on YouTube channel, um, pretending to be us and uploading our same videos, so technically stealing our videos and uploading to their account, coming off as me, and I've had multiple occasions where I've had uh, people reach out to me because they paid for a service that was never rendered, uh, and it turns out that they never made a payment to me. So again, if you come across any of those accounts or if you get any friend request with my picture on it, um, and if it's not in connection with me, definitely report those accounts, you guys. Um, I'm trying to look out for you guys and keep you guys from uh, being deceived or paying for a service that will never be rendered to you because, you know, it's they're not in any way affiliation with me. So again, if you see those accounts, report them so that they can be deleted. I've also noticed here on my YouTube channel, I get a lot of spammers, a lot of people commenting uh, trying to get or sell some type of service. If you come across those, just report them so those comments could be deleted. I was thinking of deleting the comment section, but I feel it's very unjustly for you guys. I don't want to take um, the opportunity for you guys to express yourself. So again, I'm not going to do that, but if you do come across those freaking spammers, just report them, okay? All right, let's get into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month in regards to love and romance. For the month of June 2021, what are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you guys doing? How is this retrograde <laughs> treating you? I hope it's treating you better than me. <laughs> My patience is wearing very thin. All right, let's get into your reading, Scorpio. So we have the Prince of Cups, the Ten of Cups, Princess of Cups. Ooh. Ten of Swords and the Five of Wands. Okay. All right. So you're coming up as the Prince of Cups, emotionally available. Um, you may be experiencing feeling a bit overwhelming or feeling like you're a little bit more, a little bit more sentimental than usual. And I feel that it has a lot to do with the planet alignments as well. Uh, this could be you really thinking about the past or thinking about the experiences that you have gone through when we're talking about romance and when we're talking about relationships. Now, the partner is coming up as the Ten of Cups. So this could indicate um, being emotionally invested or connected to someone that may be in a committed relationship. Or this could represent kind of like having a some type of behavior where you're very drawn and pulled towards people that could be potentially emotionally unavailable or in a committed relationship. Um, it's not going to be for everybody. The Ten of Cups can also represent a partner that is wanting or thinking of a higher elevation of commitment. But with the Princess of Cups here, there is a need for some type of maturity when we're talking about relationships, how you process your emotions, Scorpio. So it's almost like a feeling of when you, it's very difficult for people to get close to you. Um, it could be because you're guarded. It could be because you're very mindful of protecting your heart, uh, not wanting to go through past experiences. But the moment you actually allow people to get closer to you, when you fall, you fall deeply in love. Um, you surrender to the whole process of falling in love. And sometimes it could be a bit overwhelming for you when we're talking about, um, because in, 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 in general, when we fall in love, that is something that we cannot control. Your emotions are something very difficult to control. So this could be indicating like when you feel emotionally invested and attached to someone, um, whenever you feel change or whenever you're experiencing some type of change, it could feel like a trigger point for you where you become a bit overbearing or when you become overly protective, overly jealous, that type of energy. And it has, again, it has a lot to do with being able to fully understand where those fears are coming from. Now, 
what they're showing me here in regards to the advice with the Ten of Swords, it is important to not carry past experiences or past traumatic um, experiences and relationships to the newer ones that you're building. So it's kind of like don't carry the past hurt and pain and drag it into a new relationship because it will affect that connection and the purity of that connection. The Ten of Swords indicates an ending cycle. So again, I feel that for a lot of you guys, it's understanding like, yes, it's very difficult for me to fall in love. But the moment I do, you fall in love so intensely, so 100% committed to the cause of love and that connection that sometimes it could be very overwhelming for you. If you can see here, we have water all across and that's indicating emotion. So it's almost like sometimes it becomes very difficult for you to control your emotion, Scorpio. So what they're telling you is learn from that. Look at past relationships and learn from that uh, so that you don't continue doing this cycle of kind of like when you feel that you're being taken for granted or that they're not appreciating you instead of vibrating from a hurt uh, standpoint and and your reaction to it is completely being defensive um, what they're telling you is try the best you can to grow within the maturity of knowing how to control your emotions because it's almost with the five of wands it's almost like being triggered or being pulled towards acting the way you've acted in past relationships but it's coming from hurt so again it's kind of like if they do me one i'm going to do them two or two times as strong um you know if they're being nasty i'm going to be nasty as well when you express yourself so uh, again there is a cycle that needs to come to a conclusion for you to be able to elevate or vibrate from a higher perspective um as well as Again, I feel that there is an ending cycle that you're quickly approaching um, from past trauma, from past experiences that is bringing you uh, to this new cycle of embracing your true happiness, embracing a true authentic connection, a healthy relationship even. Um, try the best you can not to fall into this behavior of trying to one-up or trying to test and throw people through obstacle courses just so that they can prove to you or show you that they love you. Um, a mature person, a person that is emotionally mature, is not going to go through those obstacles because they themselves know their worth. So again, they're just advising, try the best you can not to vibrate from this perspective, from this type of energy, because it could be potentially toxic, or it is a habit that you may have a tendency of doing that ultimately leads into you pushing people away. So I, I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight, some type of understanding. I wish you guys the very best. Uh, we'll talk soon. Until then, I'll see you guys. Bye.